Just like usual, leave it to Attack on Titan to have such an ambiguous title name like Assassin's Bullet. We got shooters on both sides, you know, that could literally be anyone. Some, I, I just assume someone's dying this episode. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Attack on Titan, the final season, or season four, episode eight, called Assassin's Bullet. Last episode, we had, oh my god, so much go down. We had Armin come back. He single-handedly took out the Marleyan Navy. Amazing. We got to see Hanji, which was amazing. Mikasa and Eren work together to immobilize and get rid of the jaw titan but also use him to get rid of the warhammer titan Aaron now has the powers of the warhammer titan we were about to get the powers of the oh my god it just is crazy to think about that alone but then reiner due to the call outs of gabby and falco who are just going through it with maga and peak but they called out to reiner he came back which shouts out to everyone who non-spoilerly if that's even a word let me know that because i just assumed that was a different form of reiner's but uh apparently some other reactors were able to figure it out but thanks for the people who let me know that this is his normal form but minus his main armor that he has on his his, his main plating that he has all around his body which would make sense because he is uh in a in a weakened state after this battle after that explosion he used a lot of it to try to re to regain his health and stuff like that so it's just uh, it makes a lot of sense so shout out to the people who gave me that info don't forget if you guys want full length of this but also early access and full length to all the other shows i'm watching check out the patreon down below it is always available to you guys don't forget to follow me on my social medias twitch instagram and twitter at dapper darius if you guys are new and are not subscribed make sure to subscribe join the dapper squad hit that bell so you guys always know when i post because i am loving these shows let's hop into this attack on titan season four episode eight assassin's bullet oh my god that makes me nervous with porco in the hand no time wasted no hesitation in which that doesn't necessarily surprise me we know aaron's nasty we know he's beaten him in the past oh he was able to get porco out of there though okay okay So it makes sense because they were pointing out how was Aaron able to still keep fighting last episode? He's done a lot, so you know, okay, he's out of steam. Or maybe he doesn't want to kill Reiner. Maybe he could keep going. Maybe Aaron does feel mercy. I'm so curious. I can't wait to rewatch this episode already. That is something I was curious about. Like, I was. Oh, I don't like that. No, is she? No. No. Yes, Falco, get her. No. I don't like this at all. <laughs> no. But I, I will say, that is something I was definitely curious about through the season. I was wondering if this battle was going to be the carnage continued until the end of the season, or if we were going to be done and we're going to have some sort of climax resolution. Like, I was just... I don't know. But th I'm... This... This, this story defies storytelling like anything that you could try i don't know i don't know i didn't realize it was like this so yeah if you get in that should be ultimate protection right i still am so worried garrison so hot garrison higher ups coming over to the scouts to helping up but now the recruits technically i like that i wonder if i watched rewatch it i'd recognize that name lobov okay that's not bad for an attack of this size you know yeah i was gonna say they you guys have killed thousands i don't know if i like the talk of a new eldian empire you know Yeah, I'm more with John. Me too, Connie. I'm with you guys. RIP to everyone we've lost so far. Yeah, these guys are the OGs, OGs, you know? Flock is cool and all, but oh, these guys, nothing compared to these guys, you know? <laughs> Your tiny ass beard. <laughs> 
I don't like this at all. The assassin's bullet. Yes, stop her, please. Somebody commented that those were the Marley and Hans to the Mar- And I was like, wow, that is so facts. You know, that's crazy. Right? I'm like, damn. No, I get it. And then for the devil Eldians to do this, but like, you don't have- It's- It's just- It's just all perspective, you know? They just need to watch Attack on Titan. They just need to watch the show with us. They'd understand. I get it. I get it. It sucks. Was he really? I assume we never got any like con. Oh. Yeah, see, Falco has some sort of perspective at least because he got to see a glimpse of their conversation. Yeah. I'm so glad Falco at least was able to get that this was the counterattack to you. Okay, that's just delusion now. You know it happened. Gabby is so crazy. Her ideal is just and then the exact opposite with Falco. Knowing what Aaron said, the exact, you know, we are the exact same. What she's saying, oh, it's... <sighs> this is hard, man. This is horrible. Oh, the hesitation's gonna... He's a nasty shot. Is she gonna grab on and go up? There's no way, right? I thought she was just gonna be sniping from the ground, but Assassin's Bullet, if she goes up... This girl is something else. She has the resolve unlike any other. I haven't seen my man Colton so long. Yeah, I completely forgot about that conversation. And this is the dark future. Oh no, this is even worse. This is the only situation in which it could be worse. To the fucker who DM'd me on Discord, a paragraph of spoilers, and I only saw the one at the top before I was able to close out of it and block him. That was the spoiler I knew, guys. Oh, and I knew it was set up from when Sasha killed the Marleyan Hans, the two gate guards. I knew it would happen because of the spoiler, but knowing it happened, man, I... Damn, I'm just I just gotta give another fuck you to that guy. Guys, don't don't spoil people. Come on. Like, come on. It's not cool. But that's just oh my god. RIP to a real one. I had to wait because I'm not gonna spoil you guys when I heard about it, but Sasha was a potato eating, arrow slinging, girl saving, fucking country hicking, fucking real one. Shouts out to Oh damn, that sucks, bro. Alright, let's get back into this. Instant reload. There's no way. Oh my. Oh. Thank you, Falco. I must say, at this point forward, anything that happens, I do not know at all. 
I would. I wish I had a well cooked steak for her right now. I would love to give that to her in her final moments. This is so ass, man. I I get his dilemma. I get both sides completely. I understand. Like at that point, in the heat of the moment, I won't lie. I might end up tossing a couple kids out in airship. But I would hope that I would be like John and Falco and be better, you know. Yes, so that wasn't Armin. Who was that? Were we able to recruit him over to our side? Okay. This is actually one of the only things I would like is some discourse. Hopefully, Gabby can keep it somewhat civil, but let's actually talk about our conflicting ideals. I, I was so sure he wasn't dead because we didn't see it. I didn't know that was a girl. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I never said it in my video, but my friend Brennan can 100% confirm this for me. I had a little side theory that Zeke was on our side, but I never wanted to bring it up because I thought somebody would spoil it for me and or call me an idiot, which was a lose-lose situation for me. I should have said it because then I would have been able to say I'm right. But my reasonings for that were, were obviously he has royal blood, so that could have been the secret. But when he was telling Colt, you know, when you finally do eat me, but then you'll know my big secret, the secret way I wipe my ass. I remember that. I, I remember that hit me so different because I don't think... That it's that, because I, I didn't think it was the royal blood. I thought it was something deeper. Also, which now we know her name is Yelena. When Yelena set this trap for Peek, uh, Porco, and Zeke, I was like so confused why Zeke went away, wasn't with Porco and, and Peek. Why, why would you not take the most dangerous Titan, put him down there as well, where you can guarantee he will not be able to transform because it'll crush him and kill him? I was like, that is the number one most suspicious thing. And then as soon as the fighting ensues, we don't see him for an entire episode. Nothing happens. And then he just comes back next episode out of nowhere. There was so much that happened that I just didn't bring it up at all. But I 100% am not joking. I had that theory in my mind. I don't know to what extent. He, like, since when? Because now, hmm. Because if I'm looking back on it. If I'm thinking back on it, the last ex the last exp experience we had with Levi versus Zeke, he was talking to Aaron, and he was like, "I will save you, Aaron. You know, I don't blame you. It's our fault." Like I'm just trying to remember back exactly. What oh, that is crazy. Okay, let's get some more answers. But so he only came out and threw the rocks. Because of Peek and Porco getting out of the hole and coming out. That's the only reason he forced... Okay. I'm sorry I had to pause it again, but this is just like... At what point did they make the deal? It had to have been after he killed Ervin. There's no way Levi would have been okay with him. Like, he literally was intending to kill him, and then Peek saved him. Yeah, and Peek... Like... Did, there's no... What? Like, it had to... But then how would he have got... Was the scout ship with Yelena? Did he send the... Uh, it's, uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get answers. I just cannot believe these two are, are being civil about. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm flabbergasted right now. Damn, they even have Tim tied up too. 
That is the ultimate combination for everything. Bro, RIP to an absolute real one, bro. He said, why are you so loud? And she said, meat. That's so Sasha, bro. Oh my god, that is the ultimate throwback. Season 1, as soon as they were done with training. That is a nice little thought that she said. We can just raise more cattle and stuff once we retake our land. At least she made it to the land, you know? Bro, I'm s I wish that wasn't spoiled for me so bad. Why do I have to wait a week for next episode, man? Can I just get it in sec? Oh, no. Can I just get the next one right now? So the only information that we have that for me in terms of connecting the dots as to how this alliance between Zeke and the scouts was made is Yelena, I have to assume, because she was on one of the first scouting uh boats sent to parody after reiner came back and so she i'm guessing the entire scout ship was maybe taken they were all interrogated whatever survivors it had maybe elena said something that she loved zeke or something maybe they said they told them the truth they told her the truth gave her a deal this that the other i don't know at what point she does seem complicit as if she's not being forced or blackmailed into this so does zeke but zeke maybe for like a mutual goal a mutual compliance but like i'm so curious more about that I, I want to know a flashback or a backstory i'm abs i'm sure we'll get it but i think that's gonna rock fucking sasha or not sasha oh my god i don't want to mention her name I, even though i have to in a little bit that's gonna rock gabby and falco's world so much that they've been saying they're the enemies they're the devils this that and the other brainwash and then there's been so many direct oppositions to all that brainwashing falco had aaron falco had reiner he saw you know those two and their clash and their struggle and now they're seeing zeke who is working with these devils and like it's just and like it's so it's so deep when you think about it because this is a very very deep political Situ like what am I trying to say? This is a deep political situation that has layers and layers and layers of complexity, emotion, revenge, everything. Like this is a this is literally a story. Like Attack on Titan is a and they, they don't understand. They're literally 13, 14, however old they are. They're kids. How are they going to be able to have the maturity to understand the complexity of the story and the, the revenge that's needed? Like, thankfully, Falco has a good heart and he's just a very empathetic person and just like it's like he at least somewhat understands but gabby obviously is just hell-bent on revenge which i can't blame her for because she's a kid if if you kill my friends like i'm saying when i was a kid if you fucking stole my friend's Yu-Gi-Oh card i'm fucking beating you up you know what i'm saying let alone if you murder the closest people i you know like i can't well i can't even begin to put myself in this character's shoes so I can't blame her. I can't I can't be one of those Gabby haters for sure. But I absolutely cannot condone her killing Sasha. Like I'm more along the lines of Falco and John. Like I think Falco and John are good. Like I think Gabby and Aaron are the opposings of, of their side, and Falco and John are the opposings of their side. Where they know there's certain things that's necessary, so they're both doing what they feel is necessary, but they realize it's wrong and now they're wondering at what point can they stop doing this? Can they break the cycle to where this doesn't have to happen again anymore? Because, like, John, like I said, in the heat of the moment, I would have probably thrown them off the fucking, especially after like your adrenaline's pumping, you literally just had a, a full blown assault and attack on a fucking country, like you're attacking a government, but then, like, he was like, man, these are just kids. What do I, you know, it's like, it's hard. It's hard. You know, and he, he was able, he listened to what Gabby had to say. And then he was like, I'll take you to the leader. It's like, he's a, John's a good dude. You know, he hesitated when saving Armin's life in season three with the thing. You know, it's like, he's a good dude. He's a good heart. Like, I still remember how he acted when Marco fucking died, you know? And it's like, that even goes back to how good of a person he is. Cause I don't think 
do we do does he know that i don't think he knows that but that a- annie Berthold and reiner were directly responsible for marco's death because if he did if he does know that and he's still this empathetic towards like it's just crazy man these characters are so different in their philosophies and like how levi no one has trust in aaron anymore he went off the books which i want to know more about i want to know their original plan i want to know at what point he decided to go lone wolf how you know like i want to know so much in this three-year gap but we only have what eight episodes left and i heard there's gonna be a break like damn it bro i might have to read the manga actually speaking of we do have a question on the discord if you guys ever want to ask me anything we do have a questions uh q a section on the discord I'll, I'll answer any questions you guys have regarding any show this one is from mr twitchy who has asked many questions in the past he says as at the risk of sounding like that guy would you be opening to reading the manga for the content covered thus far in season four to compare the differences between the anime and the original source material to assist you in this endeavor i'd be willing to give you chapters for reference i if i was if i were to do that i would do what i just did with hunter hunter and just reread the entire manga i was so surprised at how different how many differences were in the hunter hunter manga versus the 2011 adaptation so i would just reread the entirety of attack on titan which i'm planning on doing um i might just do it while the break is going on and just catch up to the part and then just when it's done then just finish it out or i might just wait till it's fully done and then do that depending on the answers that i get and don't get but i've been told by some awesome commenters like you guys that like the whole annie uh when they were having the flashbacks to the infiltration with reiner Bertholdt, and annie how annie was doing a lot more in the background they only showed that little glimpse with kenny and all that and how they cut out so much of her during the actual wall attacking thing she was like directing titans at the wall like with her screech and shit like there's a lot that i'm guessing had to have been cut out due to the 16 episode time limit um that they have but i having just started getting back into manga am loving it again so i would absolutely love to do that I don't know about on stream or on video. I'm thinking about doing Berserk, reading Berserk for the first time on on Twitch. That would be super cool, like Manga Mondays, something like that. You know, let me know if you guys are interested in that. But uh, thank you for that question. I am definitely interested in that. I think I'm going to head out here right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go do some more work. Have a great day. Don't forget, if you guys want full length, check out the Patreon, as always. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. Uh, Peace out, you guys. Love ya. Thank <laughs> you.